So I'm Jim with Avery. I'm the Western Regional Technical Specialist. So if you're using our films and you have a technical question, I'll be the guy you can call. Uh, I'm going to go over some of the architectural films. We're going to talk about uh, the benefits of window film real quick. I'll show you kind of our product portfolio and the lines we have. Uh, we've been in, uh, after that, Brian's going to talk about the automotive films. Um, do you guys do architectural and residential film at all? Anybody? Nobody? One guy. All right. We win. Anyways, it's just good to know anyways because you just never know when a good customer is going to go, hey, can you tip my office? And if you have the, you know, access, you can do it. And it's actually, black glass is really good money. Okay, so the major benefits of it are you can block the UV. Obviously, light control. How many times have we looked out a window and the glare is killing you? We can cut the glare down. Um, commercial buildings generally, we have anti graffiti film, which is a clear 6 mil film that goes on the outside of the building. So if somebody tries to tag the window, they're going to actually damage the film instead of the glass, which is a lot easier and less expensive to replace than the windows. Um, we can put the film onto glass panels, like if you're putting up the little glass rails for, you know, kids out there and you throw something that breaks, it stays in place and nobody falls off the nothing. So that would be your shard retention. You can lower the heat in most buildings. Film lowers the heat by giving the air conditioner a chance to cool before all the heat comes in. Right. So without window film, you've got three things coming through. Infrared, visible light, and UV. When you put window film on, you're going to cut 99% of the ultraviolet out and then a various percentages of the visible light and the infrared energy, which is the heat. So you're going to reduce hot spots in the house like with, with film. And you can improve the comfort. Like I said, what's going to happen is if you have no film on these windows and the morning sun's coming and baking it, the room's already hot before the air conditioner gets a chance to do its job, right? So if you put film on the windows, it's slowing that heat and the air conditioner has a chance to get the room cool and then it's not running all day. And the, in a big commercial building, that could add up to a really large amount of money. Like that. Okay, so we can cut down glare reduction substantially, and I'll give you my own personal experience. So my front room is my office, and it gets afternoon sun pretty hard, and I have a 15% film on that window. My monitor stays the window, and there's no glare on it. I can see them perfectly all day. You can do daytime privacy with a reflective film, and I say daytime privacy because the it works in the sense of the, whatever, the guy in the darkness gets the privacy. So if you go to the police station to identify a bad guy, if they're standing in the bright light and you're in the dark, so they see a mirror and you can see them. But if you flip the switch, then it changes. If you want full privacy, you would have to go with like a frost or an opaque film. Aesthetics, it, we changed the look of this building. It was old and brown and put a, one of our exterior films on there and changed the look of it to a whole new look. Pressures up the building. So window film versus other blinds and stuff, you can cut the heat and the glare, but you don't lose your visual. Or if you put blinds up, a lot of times you'll lose, you have to, like, I can't see off this one now, right? But if there was film on here, I could still see out just fine. So interior, exterior. Interior is easier to access. Most of the films are done interior, but there are applications where an exterior film would work better. So let's say you have a building that has tinted windows that are bronze, dark bronze. If you put film on the inside, you're not going to get a very good improvement in your heat. But if you put a film on the exterior so it's blocking the heat before it gets into that glass, you're going to actually substantially increase that building's energy efficiency. And there's really good money in those kind of jobs because you're saving that company money. And if you do something like that, we do offer energy analysis for buildings. So they can, you can actually tell them what their return on their investment is. So. Okay, so our window film portfolio and our architectural films, we've got solar films and safety films. Under the solar films, we've got interior and exterior, which we're talking about, as well as in the safety films. Now, safety films are designed to hold the glass together and, and increase safety in the glass from everything from earthquakes to bomb blasts, uh, intruders, it slows them down. So solar films are designed to help with energy control. So in our solar film line, our interior line, we've got our silver, our dual reflective films, our ceramic films, and our spectrally select film, which is our e-light films. Those are the various different products that we have. And up here, we have a bunch of different uh, spec sheets for the different types of those films. That It has a little graph, and actually you can see a picture of what that kind of looks like and what they actually do. It's a, it's a good cheat sheet for you if you don't do architecture and want to start doing 
An exterior is a lot of the same films, but they're designed to go on the outside. And we have a special one called Extreme, which is a training film that we certified for. And that's a really great product. It's an extreme video that we listed on the website as such. So it's just looking for a good exterior film to be able to certify them and then be on the website. So we're looking for that. So this is some basic terminology. Reflective, the maximum efficiency of reflective access. Dual reflective is a combination of a reflective outer layer and a non-reflective inner layer. So if you're looking out the window, you're not looking at a mirror, but from the outside you get daytime privacy and rejection. The designer films are graphics, you know, cross films, blackout films, things to make it look different, hide a wall that's going to be in front of a the window, these kind of things. Spectrally selective films have a, a neutral color and they block a higher infrared, cuts out a lot more heat with a lighter film. And then our neutral films are gray, non-reflective, more of a, a natural look to the windows. You're not changing the appearance of the glass when you're putting the film on it. As far as when you look out the window, you're not changing the color of the trees or the sky. So the construction is, is a quick, I'm just going to be quick and easy. There's multiple layers. You get your glue, um, and you've got a couple layers of the film, and then there's a scratch coat on the back side of that. And on our exterior film, it has a durable exterior special scratch coat that's different. If you put a film on the inside, the scratch coat on that film is not designed to be put on the outside, so the exterior film is actually a different animal as far as how that works. So on our safety films, you've got clear poly, which is designed to go on polycarbonates, which is a really nice product. And then we've got the interior applications. You have safety film, and again, anti-graffiti film is an exterior film to prevent the building from being tagged, damaged, somebody wants to scratch the glass, they're going to scratch the film instead of the glass. And those come in a 6 and a 4 mil. And the safety films come in at all the way 8, 8 mil, 15 mil, 12 mil, 15 mil. You do also have a 12 mil frost film that's already put together as such. And they're thicker, it's a thicker adhesive, it's a more aggressive adhesive. And then your laminate layers are in between there with the scratch coat on the outside. So there's a large variety of different shades in here and again I have the samples up here that show you the different categories of film which are really great. So we've got five shades of dual reflective, the different VLTs, and in, in one of our dual reflectives and three shades in the other one. And the color is a little different from the two different shades. So if you had a, a brown house or an adobe colored house you could use one of those films where if you have a grayer house you could use the other films and they would tie together with the house really well. Same thing with the neutral films. You can those on a building or a house. The Spectrally Select is a lighter film, so it's designed to do the work without making a big difference. So if you've got a storefront customer who wanted to protect their clothes, but they wanted people to see in, you could use our E-Light 70, and it's going to give them good protection without uh, blocking the view of the customers walking by. I can tell you, everybody on Rodeo Drive has that on their windows. They want everybody to see all those expensive things, but they don't want them fading in the sun. So our reflective silvers, at 25 and 35. It's a water activated adhesive. Our Spectre Release Select film, again, we're, there's a 45 and a 70. Now, the percentage on the films, if you don't know, the higher the number, the lighter the film. So, a limo tin on a limousine is 5%. Whereas our Spectre Release at 70 is the same as a clear piece of like, the front door in your car that has clear glass. That would be at 70% film. And then uh, the neutral film, our ceramics are, you know, 70%, 50, 35, and 20%. The Natura, which is the non-reflective film, has a 35, 15, and 5. These are all water activated, as are our dual reflective films. The specialty films are a pressure sensitive adhesive, which is aggressive like an auto tint. So you've got your matte, your blackout, and your whiteout. The, the ones on here that say print 2 mil formal, we actually don't carry those anymore. And then we have a regular UV film, which is just a clear. We have a frosted crystal. We also have a frosted crystal, which is matches perfectly to 3Ms, but it installs easier and it actually comes off easier than if you've ever installed any of that film. It's way easier to work with. So, reflective interior fills, the pros of that, the silver film is the most cost-effective film. It's the least expensive film, I should say. It's that high heat rejection provides maximum energy to the cons. It's reflective inside, uh, nighttime mirror effect, so if you're standing here at night, you're seeing yourself in the mirror where the dual reflective film was built to remove that at night, you know, looking at yourself in a mirror. We use that a lot in commercial buildings because it's the most cost effective and it does the most work. So 
example, an interior silver film is about 77% heat rejection. If you put on the exterior version, it's up to 81% heat rejection. So it's pretty substantial for you know, an inexpensive film. The dual reflective films, they maintain your night view. You can, because it's not reflected on the inside, you can see out. And then during the day, you've got daytime privacy. Uh, it is still fairly well priced and it's a good, I sell, when I was selling window film on a daily basis, dual reflective was the number one thing I sold, almost all, always, because it, it's a beautiful film for commercial and residential. But then OptiShade is our second version of that. Maintain, again, maintain the night, good heat rejection, good glare rejection, and you just get that daytime privacy. It's really important that if people are looking for privacy that you know that the any film you can see through is only daytime privacy. There's no window film that you can see through that's not good. that's going to give you privacy. Again, the guy in the darkness gets the privacy, and so you're not going to really get any privacy from a, a daytime film. Okay, nanotechnology. So our dual reflective films have a nanotechnology that delivers the best performance and the best look in the film. And I don't know what the test specs. It's the neutral films you can see in that picture, it's not a real reflective film, but it gives you a nice look on the building and it does cut the heat and the glare coming in. Some types of glass is not suitable for it because it does have a high absorption rate. So if you have a low E dual pane window, you're probably not going to use this film. I do have film to glass charts up here, which I would suggest grabbing one of those because it lists all the films. On the front is the interior, on the back is the exterior. And what that tells you is which film goes with which, uh, which type of glass, what's going to be the best for it. Now, anything with tempered glass, of course, you have a little more forgiveness than plate glass because tempered glass is, is not going to break as easily as a plate glass window. On dual pane windows, you're going to be more concerned about a tempered unit with the seals breaking than the actual glass breaking. And this is the same thing with neutral uh, interior film. Again, low, low visible reflection. The nanotechnology gives it a nice clean look and keeps the heat out, and that is a great glare reduction. Our spectrally selected films, again, they have a higher infrared rejection with a lighter film. As you can see in the picture, you can see all the little doodads in the window, and there's, they're getting protected. Now, keep in mind that stopping fading is not possible. With window film, we're going to slow how it fades. You can't stop fading. It's physically impossible. So a perfect example is you have a clothing store. You put the film on the window to stop fading and they've got incandescent lights inside shining on the clothes. Those are actually doing more damage and fading to the clothes than the sun ever was. Plus, you don't know what the ink on the material or the floor is, or the, the dyes, and if they're anchored properly into the material. Does that make sense? So, spectrally selected film. The luminous, this is, this is the fun part, this gets really tight in here. The luminous efficiency of the film. As the, the, high, the higher the number, the more efficient the glazing system is. So we're at 95% on dual pink glass with our spectrally select. So that's actually going to help, like I said, with fading, it's going to help with heat rejection. Those. Kind of winging it on this presentation because the other one crashed. So, so exterior films, again, we have. Our regular silver, our dual reflective grays, and spectrally selective films in, uh, in a exterior film that's got a five-year warranty on the regular one. And the, yes. The extreme film can get up to a 10-year warranty. Again, the extreme film, you do need to be certified because there is a specific way to put it on, and it does have to be edge sealed. 15. It says up to 15. So. Okay. 15. My mistake. <laughs> Generally, it's 10. So the reflective exterior films, again, they, change, they can change the look of the building, so you're giving somebody a second bonus. They're re-imaging their building. There have been buildings that I've seen where they put a new film on and maybe paint the spandrel glass in between, and they've been actually able to rent more spaces in the building because it's a fresher, newer looking building. The installation is going to be, obviously, with a boom lift or a swing stage. So one of the things on a bigger building, obviously, would have to be swing stage certified to do that work. Um, and not have any fresh air pipes, that's always a plus. Me, personally, I don't do swing stage. Now, you can do skylights. We have uh, skylight extreme glass and polyfilms. So if you have polycarbonate skylights, we do have a polycarbonate film specifically designed for skylights, which is a fantastic product all on its own. And then we also have regular 
versions of our skylight film for glass as well. Now you've got case studies on the different products and films, and this is one of my favorite pictures right here. We did all these domes on this board. This is in Barcelona, Spain. But uh, that's on top of a mall. And so when the mall was having a lot of heating problems, we put that exterior foam on the whole thing, and they actually had to change their settings on their thermometers because it changed the dynamics so much inside. So uh, again, the door for the exterior is just kind of repeats on the most part of the and our safety films, we have quite a few safety films. So uh, generally, safety films are using an 8 mil or a 12 mil clear. We do have a 12 mil clear called a modular film, which is in the bottom there. The modular films are nice because you can put a second layer of any of our other solar films on those and make a custom application for your customer. Generally, most manufacturers have two versions of solar security films. We can we literally have our entire product line available and they only make them in 8 mil mostly, and you can have a 12 mil or a 15, you know, 7 mil or 8 mil in the modular films. And then that way you've got solar film and you've got security in an option that you know, gets gone for the customers. Safety film's gonna hold the glass together, it breaks, it's gonna slow down intruders. I would never tell anybody you're gonna keep somebody out because even if you're putting bullet resistant glass in, it's just that bullet resistant, nothing's bulletproof because there's always something with a bigger gun. Bullet resistance, which is what we're doing, has various levels, obviously, as does film. If you were to put film on tempered glass on somebody's home to keep a burglar out, it's not really going to keep them out. It might slow them down. The tempered glass breaks along the edge where it meets the rubber, which is where the film stops. So that literally falls in. We call it a level of that. So you want to be careful how you sell that on a residential application. Now, if they have a deep enough frame, you can use a Dow Corning attachment adhesive to glue it to the frame, and then it's going to hold up a little stronger for them. So the clear safety films are optically clear, and they've got good durability, they do have good shred retention. Uh, if, if the window breaks, it will stay intact. If somebody hits it or something, it's not going to fall on them or cut them with the shards. Um, we do offer, you know, like I said, the 995 anchoring system is going to help on any of those applications. That's pretty much it. This is the shock tube test, which is a Apply this, all of our films with baby shampoo and water. Baby shampoo and water. Yeah. So it, it's the, the, the rule of thumb is four cc's per liter. Okay. So it, you get a, you'll get a feel for what works best for you. But when you wet the window, you want to have a nice soap on there, so it's not like clear water all beads up. You want to just have a nice sheen of soap on there. So there's a recommendation to use baby soap and water, no rapid tech. Correct. Yeah. You don't want to use rapid tech with window film. It'll, it'll, Window film sticks enough, good enough without it.
here's our automotive line. I guess I could I'll talk from here, but our, uh, here's our automotive film line. We have the HP, the non-reflective, uh, the infrared films. So the non-reflective is basically what uh, majority of the market is going towards. Uh, it's basically no metal. It's uh, yeah, it's basically flat black. Or I should say flat black. It's just there's no metals in it. Uh, we have the NR, the NR Pro. The NR Pro actually has uh, nanoparticles, and then the ceramic has ceramic uh, particles in it for better heat rejection. Uh, then we have the IR uh, windshield films, and that's what we have for your front windshields. When I had my business, I was using the HP Pro. I still continue to do so. If, I mean, like, if I need my car tinted, I'm like, I want HP on my car. Uh, the trend is going away from HP uh, just because it, uh, they say it interferes with your uh, signal for computers in the car. Um, mid 2000s, or was, yeah, around 2000s, a lot of the antennas were in, built into the glass, with, which interfered with your AM and certain uh, electronics. So hence, everybody went towards the non-reflectives. Uh, uh, looks like I went through with this. So the HP again, it's a, it's a, it's a hybrid. There's a layer of metal in there. Uh, they put the layer of metal in there to give you better performance. So your, your typical NR gives you like 42 uh, percent TSER total solar energy rejection your HP limo will bring you up to like 57 to 60 percent so it's a significantly difference the NR like uh, but the NR which is that the set NR ceramic brings it up to 64 percent TSER and that's using ceramic particles uh, the IR windshield your TSER it's virtually clear it's about 80 percent VLT um, and that gives you a Heat rejection, I don't want to say heat rejection, but total solar energy rejection to 43. So it's cutting out the heat. And, make it, and when you get in a car without the film, you'll, that's why you get car tinted, right? Number one is what looks, next one is heat. And you, you turn on your AC because your AC catches up. Uh, the non reflectives, uh, it's, it's a color stable, lifetime warranty. That comes in a 5, 15, 20, and 35. Uh, and I believe it comes in 50. That's not on here, but I have to check. Um, the colors we use on, continuously on all our films is a graphite appearance. It's not blue, it's not brown, it's not green, it's graphite. So graphite sort of tends to match with all manufacturers. You look at a Chevy, it's got a greenish blue glass. Toyota is I think, brownish gray. Everybody's got their own shade. The graphite sort of co covers all the manufacturers. Um, here's a, the NR Pro. These are nanoparticle films. Uh, it's all our films. I mean, it benefits. I, I, I think uh, it all, all our films shrink well. So the benefits to this film is it has better heat rejection. Uh, like I said before, your uh, uh, since we use nanoparticles, the NR Pro 5 goes up to like 57%, as opposed to your non-reflective 5%. Your, your typical color stable is like 42%. So you're just you're increasing your heat rejection. Uh, the ceramic, as I said, uh, we use uh, ceramic nanoparticles. Again, it shrinks very well, uh, and we still use a graphite tone. But you, you will get an infrared, I should say, a ceramic iridescent, and it's just it's it, it's typical for a ceramic film. It just you're gonna get it with any manufacturer. It's just built into the system. Uh, it's very hard to get away with it. But with, like I said, we've been building, making films since '83, and it's continuous. Uh, we're you know our technology keeps evolving. So, but on the limo side on this, you're getting 64 percent as opposed to 58. <laughs> So our ceramics is actually starting to creep up over our NR Pro. So NR Pro is our my bread and butter film. It's like in Texas you gotta have it. And now ceramic is like it's they don't even carry the NR Pro anymore. It's just all they sell ceramic. Is that what you do now? All oh, you sell ceramic now, yeah. right? Yeah. So a lot of shops are like, we just want to sell ceramic. You get a, it's a higher ticket item. You're making more money. But again, 
it, it, you know, it's, you wean people out, you attract certain customers that want to pay you top dollar. So, but sometimes you want like, well, I got to take care of these guys too. And that's not a problem, that's really up to you. So, um, a 40 inch roll of film uh, that you can get a regional, say, let's just say it's $300. You can tend eight cars on that, uh, up to eight cars, depending on what you're using, as you, if you're using a plotter or you're hand cutting, and depending on how you're cutting. Um, you've got eight cars times three to $400 per car or $500 per car, and that's your, prop, that's your margin. The, the film will cost you $300. Uh, most of the cars now are trucks and minivans, SUVs, and all you're doing is tinting front roll ups. If you're going to tint the back half of that car, I recommend, since it's already a factory tint, I like to go with like a 30, 35%, but if they want something darker, because I just don't want people to get to an accident. You know, they're like, I want to put limo on top of this 20, so it's like pitch black. There's no need for it, especially with the ceramic. Ceramic, they made ceramic, so you don't need to go darker. Now, now we make ceramic all the way to 5%, it just defeats the purpose. So, I mean, the technology's there. I mean, if you, you're going to put whatever your, your customer was going to tell you. I won't let what you won't let. You're going to do exactly what your customer tells you to do. But I always say, hey, let's, let's go towards the legal side or the safety side. So maybe the 20 is the darkest you'd go on a factory tent. Uh, and that's a good thing, too, on like a, a, like a crew cab Chevy. You put the film up. Well, yeah, you put the two front roll-ups up. They're like, if you want a perfect match, you add the back half. So now you, you went from $150, now you're doing the whole back of that car. And now you're at like $400. So they came in for two front roll-ups, now they're tinting the whole car. So, so because from the outside it looks good, but from the inside looking out, you see two different shades. And you give them that option, say, hey, we can make them look exactly by adding window film on this side, on the inside. Uh, the Spectra Select Film, or the, uh, the Shield IR is perfect for front windshields. I have it on my vehicle. Uh, I always tell everyone, don't lower your price. Go always charge more than what the glass replacement is going to be. Because it's a laminated glass. Um, if you break it, you buy it. You're replacing it. So you always got to cover that. I mean, you know, if you get a Jeep, you put that on there. Jeep guys like that Jeep logo on the front windshield. They want their OE glass. You're not going to go to, you know, auto glass around the corner and put a $100 glass. I'm like, no, I want my OE glass on there. So charge accordingly for front windshields. Uh, and on top of that, what's great is you could also uh, put your visor strip. I don't know if you have a visor strip on your own car. Highly recommend it. Um, you know, you take it. 20 inch roll, split it in half, you got 10 inch and 10, you know, you got two 10 inches that you could do your visor strips. Um, uh, why use automotive window film? Uh, number one, I, I, I always say it's uh, aesthetics. We always want to look good. Uh, we all know who's in the car even though you got your window scented, right? Uh, and then no, uh, number two, UV uh, with the heat rejection. Um, out here, I think during this winter, the sun's pretty low out here, right? You get a glare, and right now the sun's up here. During winter, the sun's right there, so you, when you're driving east, the sun's hitting you all day. Right? When you're driving west, when you're coming home, or I don't know which way you're driving, but the sun's, the sun's lower. It's a lower angle, so you're always going to have the sun hitting your eyes. But right now, right, the sun's right here during the summer. Um, how film works, uh, similar to architectural films, once you put film on the glass, it stops it at the glass. It doesn't let it come in. So even like, a, you know, we're talking about architectural, they put blinds up, but the heat's already inside. You want it to stop it at the glass, not inside with your blinds. So that's, you know, it just, it just makes sense. You know, once the heat's in, the heat's in. Can't do nothing about it. Um, window film works. Well, I should say, yeah, window film rejects heat two ways. Either reflects it or absorbs it into the glass. The, the silver films for commercial reflects it. 
uh, the darker tones absorbs it into glass, and that's how you get your heat rejection. So it just the energy is trapped into the glass with a little bit of reflection. Uh, I think we can skip this part. Uh, so I just want to give you the understanding. UV is, I think, the, the number the fastest cancer-causing. Uh, in the United States, from my understanding. So you're going to see an, ink, uh, an up, uprise on skin cancer. So this helps re reduce all that. So along with your sunscreen, it's going to help you uh, with your skin, scan, uh, skin cancer. As far as tools, this is all your basic tools. A uh, long time ago, all we had was a credit card. We started messing around with the credit card. And <laughs> squeegeeing, using it as jumper squeegees. Now you got a variety of tools. Uh, you can get all the tools here at, at, at regional. Um, but always, it's you know, it, just always look at what you have as an option uh, with the tools that they have over there. Because each person likes different types of tools. And we do have it. They're going to have it. Uh, we went over the tint class. So um, as far as tint laws. I always say, always, always obey your tint laws. I know there's always going to, you're going to have a customer who wants something darker than your tint laws. That's up to you. Uh, but a long time ago, I would say not a long time ago, a couple decades ago, we, IWFA had to fight to get window tinting. Uh, they were trying, I, I don't know exactly how the story works, but Congress was trying to banish window film. So the IWFA fought, and actually they didn't win, they outlasted Congress, so they basically gave up to you know, uh, banish window film for cars. But that's why I always say, obey your uh, window tent laws. Uh, but I, like I said, I can't, we can't control what's going to happen at, you know, at your shop. Somebody wants 20%, someone, I want the I don't want my two fronts to match the back half of the car. Well, it's going to be a 20%. That's between you and them. Um, if you go to uh, IWFA.com, you can have this printed, and I would post that always at your shop. So you could say, hey, over here, this is what's legal. So, I mean, this you can just print this out. You can put it on your phone. Um, uh, and that's basically it. Any questions? might have are you guys interested in window tinting? so just go to go to regional supplies website and they have classes and um, they have they have they don't buy tools or film before the class because they have specials for you guys because a, a few times people pre-bought tools, pre-bought film. They're like, what? I bought all this stuff. I said, well, then you could buy a second, <laughs> second inventory. But yeah, definitely, you know, buy onesie twosies, get the experience, take the class, but don't like load up. With our class, we give you a tool belt with tools in it. Yeah, so you'll, you'll get the basic tools, but uh, definitely always uh, use regional for your resources.